This is Northeast High School. This is, um, this is like the neighborhood school. So if you lived in Northeast Philadelphia, and if you didn't want to go to, like I went to a school for acting. So if I went to, I went to the acting school. Well, I went to Franklin Learning Center. But there's there's a school called Kappa. There's Swanson where you're Swenson where you learn a trade. There's a like a, a Votech school. Uh, there's a place where you can learn farming. I think that's Seoul. You get to learn how to farm. Um, and Northeast High School, they have a th- like the, the one of the best nat- uh, space programs in the country. Like you work the kids who went to this went to this one class would actually help NASA with experiments and stuff. And um, but other than that, that one class is just a general high school. Uh, and if you didn't want to go to one of those specialty schools, you went to Northeast. And I think out of all the neighborhood schools of Washington, Washington Northeast are probably the best. I think some of the neighborhood schools, like Kensington High School, uh, you know, it's like Lean on Me. Remember that movie, Lean on Me? Joe, Joe, uh, they used to call me Crazy Joe. Now they call me Batman. That's my Morgan Freeman. Crazy Joe Clark, he was a teacher in Newark, New Jersey. And you, you know what? Sometimes when, you, when you're a teacher or a principal, you, you got to deal with, with, with some crazy shit. A crazy Joe. He uh, he had drug dealers and, and all types of. Th- it's a fantastic movie. It's called Lean on Me. Watch it. <laughs> uh, there's a kid smoking crack, who's like a crackhead. Although he's like the fattest crackhead in the history of crackheads. Um, there's the cornerstone from the 1903 building. Uh, so that yeah, there's a little fat crackhead, and and uh, crazy Joe has him on top of the roof. And he's like, listen! I, oh, I don't want, that's a combination of Howard Stern and... Well, that's like, ooh. This comic great Joe. I, I, I forgot to smoke crack and jump off the roof! All right, let's stop doing the impressions. Um, so yeah, so he tells this kid, listen, just jump off the roof. That's, that's how we guided people. This is Northeast High School's trophy case. Northeast has a... Uh, football team. They have a football field. It's a big-ass school. You can get lost in here. I went to summer school here in 1992. My freshman year. Um, And, uh, yeah, you can get lost in this place. Tony Danza. There was a reality show. Oh, this is back... Oh, when did he... I don't know when he said to do... Uh, uh, maybe in the er, late 2000s, Tony Danza had this reality show called Teach. Because you see, Tony Danza, before he uh, became Tony Danza, he was, a, uh, he was a college student, and he actually got a college degree to be a teacher. And... Uh, while he was getting his... Co- oh, Rick, the puppy almost killed a rabbit. Oh, there was a rabbit in here. And uh, <clears throat> so Tony Danza, when, when he was in college, he also was a fighter. He was a boxer. And, and then he got on that show Taxi. So he, uh, uh, but he got his degree to be a teacher. I'm Tony Danza. And <laughs> believe it or not, I actually went to school to become a teacher. But, he, you know, Hollywood comes calling... You know, we're gonna make twenty thousand dollars a year, or I can't. I, Tony Dan's is a zillionaire, I would assume, right? Who's the boss? He's a big time. So he, uh, I swear to God, this is what he said. I was thinking about doing a second career. And I find myself thinking about what I want to do with the rest of my life. I just turned sixty, and I, I, I'm thinking about doing a second career. He had a talk show. He had a talk show, a syndicated talk show. So I'm talking, he definitely has seven figures. I mean, I know he, he does say a lot. He does make fun of the fact that he was a fighter. And uh, he got punched in the head a lot. He'll tell you. He ended up using my head for something else. 
here I am now, a little older. He, he, he was sitting in his house one day, and he was thinking, what if, what if I could have been a teacher? So then, he contacts A&E, or whatever it was. A&E stands for art. Oh. oh my God, yeah, go slow as you can. I hate these cars. Well, they have the mufflers that backfire on purpose. If you own one of them, if you have a muffler that backfires on purpose, I want you to stand up, walk into the bathroom. I'll wait. Tell me when you're in the bathroom. You there? Okay. Now what I want you to do is I want you to point at yourself in the mirror. Just point at yourself like this. And I want you to say, I'm an asshole. Thank you. Yeah, so Tony Danza had his reality TV show. And um, he had a class. He taught one class throughout the year. And it was the funniest goddamn show. Because he, first off, he calls this like an urban school. And he was like, oh, it's an urban school in Philadelphia. And I mean, it's in the city, but ah, it ain't lean on me. You know what I'm saying? Let's put it on me. This school has a talent show. And Tony Danza still comes back to this day and does it. I don't think, oh, you know what? Lean on Me's school did have a talent show. Yeah, the Lean on Me school had a talent show. That's how Joe Clark got his, got fired. Or wasn't it really a talent show? He had like these interpretive dancers come in. And I don't know what it was, but there was like interpretive dancers. And, and somehow titties and boobies were exposed to children. And, you know... Joe Clark, we, we all know. I mean, he's telling us to call him Crazy Joe. That's his idea. That was his nickname. So, uh, Crazy Joe, uh, he did something crazy. He had some boobies on the stage. Horrible. And I swear this is true. Amish Mafia was my favorite TV show. It was my favorite TV show. It, it was my favorite TV show of all time for a minute until this moment happened. So, my buddy was, you know, Rick, I think we're the only ones here. Come on, bud. Let's, let's explore um, so he had, he was tattooing this girl and she, and she, she came in with a script and it, it said Amish Mafia. She had it like in, in a bag and he, he, he and they said, yeah, he, she was, she was like, yeah, Amish Mafia is completely scripted. And it was like, it was like finding out Santa Claus. Uh, you know, I don't want to ruin it for anybody. Well, let's see, if you're watching this, you're, you're, and I don't want to, you know, he's trying to find out the Easter Bunny is it right now. Oh, come here. I'll just show you the field here. There's the football field. That's a nice stadium. I'm not going to take Rick on there. <laughs> 